Greetings, YouTube land. It's Budget Nerd. Uh, for today's video, I'll expand my smart or otherwise very nerdy home by installing an outdoor security camera. This is the HM211 outdoor security camera from Heimvision. Yes, they sent it over for review. So it turns out this camera has lots of pluses and a few issues. So let's go over them. The Heimvision HM211 comes in at $47.49 at the time of this recording. It records video at 1080p, supports micro SD cards up to 128 gigabytes in capacity, has a 110 degree field of view, night vision, built in lights, has a water resistant uh, rating of IP65, it can be hooked up via Wi Fi or Ethernet, uh, and it also supports Amazon's Alexa, but not Google. What's up with that? Inside the box you get some paper, instruction manual. Uh, it's pretty good. It runs you through several things including setting up the app and briefly touches on the app's functions. You get a Wi-Fi antenna and the camera itself. It has this soft base which makes sealing the camera mount to the surface you're mounting it to easy. It also has a little space you can use to route the cable through it so you can flush mount it. On the front, it has infrared lights and normal lights. In this box, you get an Ethernet cable, some things to seal the Ethernet connection uh, for moisture, I think, screws and anchors, the power adapter, and a sticker template to make mounting it easier. Should you choose to use Wi-Fi, you'll want to screw on the Wi-Fi antenna. I started with Wi-Fi just to test it, and I had no issues with connectivity. But it's recommended that you test the Wi-Fi in the area you plan on using the camera before you mount it. Also, keep in mind this camera only supports 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. There was no power where I planned on mounting the camera, so I used an extension cord, but it was just temporary. When I was ready to wire it up properly, I ran an Ethernet cable and used these PoE injectors so the camera can get data and power with one Ethernet cable. They add the power the adapter provides to the Ethernet cable, and then the splitter <coughs> splits uh, it in a way the camera can use. This is how it will all be connected. There is a link to these PoE injectors in the description if you want to pick some up. They may work with other non-PoE cameras, uh, but they for sure work with this one. To run the cable, I went from my patch panel in the office, down the wall, to the crawl space. Then we pulled off a piece of siding and the corner boards and drilled a hole in the bottom cap, ran the cable up the space created by the corner boards, and then pulled down some of the soffit to run it to the camera. I was lucky I only had a really small piece of siding to take down. After putting it together, we caulked it and touched it up. I had Randy from the channel Handyman Randy, shameless plug, come over and assist with running the Ethernet cable. Check out his video, link in the description too, for a more detailed run through of how we ran this cable if you plan on doing something similar. The camera looks nice, and it feels like it's built pretty well, with the only exception being the mounting arm. Don't get me wrong, it'll work and it'll hold the camera, but loosen the screws with the provided Allen wrench and you'll see how basic it is. Depending on how you need to mount it or angle it, the mounting arm may get in the way of the antenna, or the antenna may get in the way of the mounting arm, take your pick. It's a bit of a design oversight. You'll need to install the Pix Plus app. The process of installing the app and setting up your account is pretty straightforward. You then connect the camera to the network, which was also really easy. Being an outdoor camera, it will withstand a bit of water, but not a ton, so keep it protected. Before I mounted it in its final location, I messed around with it in the house. It was pretty fun to mess with. Uh, open up the app and you can click on which camera you want to look at. Of course, I only have the one. Right off the bat, it'll show you the live feed of what the camera sees. You'll be able to see right away the image quality of this camera is really nice. Even in low light, the image is great. Night vision is also really good. It's easily one of this camera's best features. I was very impressed with the camera quality on this thing, and even compared to my Pixel 2 XL, which also has an amazing camera. Uh, the two look very similar. 
There are a decent amount of features in the app, too. You can click the play button to review recorded footage, or you can press the camera icon to take an impromptu picture. Press this button to make it full screen. The buttons on the bottom let you see events if you paid for one of their cloud services. Change the quality from standard def to high def. Press this button to communicate with the person that is in front of the camera through the app. And press this to mute or enable sounds that the camera picks up and feeds to the app. Pressing the more button shows the option to record an impromptu video. Look at your cloud album or any pictures or videos you saved to your cloud account. And set the option for the lights on the camera. Clicking on the gear gives you the chance to change some settings like the name, the time zone, enabling or disabling the microphone, turning the alarm on or off, configuring night vision, flipping the image upside down if you need to mount the camera upside down, sharing the camera, which allows others to just see the live feed, configuring motion detection, configuring the detection areas, configuring the SD card storage, and several other things. So honestly, the, the options are pretty good. We tried the two-way voice chat, and it worked well. There was a two- or three-second delay, and the microphone isn't the best, but it totally worked. It open just to staple a few things to the wall. If you enable the alarm, it'll go off if motion is detected. It's a pretty short and a very minor alarm, and it's not the loudest either. It's just meant to be a simple deterrent heard by just the criminals themselves. I also pulled the AVI files off the SD card and put them on the computer. Initially, I found it hard to get some of my computers to play them. One would, one wouldn't, and even the mighty VLC player wouldn't play them on one of my PCs. I reached out to Heimvision, and they said there isn't any restriction or protection in place. Just find a player that will play them. Well, shout out to Easy Posse TV, who commented on my 10 free software video. Uh, he suggested Pot Player, P-O-T. I tried it, and it worked. So it's not impossible, but it might be tricky to play the files on your computer. Although I did get one PC to play them without issues. And they will play just fine on the camera, on the app though. You can also visit ucloudcam.com and sign in with your Pix Plus account and view your videos from there if you have one of their cloud service plans. If you don't have a cloud service plan, you'll need a micro SD card in the camera to record and save videos and images. Many people might find the cloud services offered worth it, and the price range seems acceptable. If you are planning on paying for a service, this camera offers event or continuous recording for 7, 15, or 30 days that you can pay per month or per year. Prices ranging from $5 to $20 a month, or $50 to $200 a year. When you first sign into the app, you are presented with a trial offer for their cloud services if you want to try it out, which is what I did. Let's talk about the motion detection for a minute. It senses motion by detecting changes in the pixels in the image. It's a simple algorithm, but usually works. Although, this is where this camera's gleaming marks take a turn down the wrong street. I wanted to make sure I gave this camera a fair shake, so I set it up in two different areas, made sure I tried all the detection sensitivities and messed with the detection areas. Sometimes the camera performed great, other times, the detection is almost unusable. Let me demonstrate. I first set it up in my house, aimed at our cat's food dish. We feed her the inexpensive cat food that is mostly processed corn. So I named the camera the corn cam. I learned two things. One, if the camera is in an ideal location, its detection works great. And two, my cat really has an eating problem and goes on some strange eating marathon from midnight to one. Out of all the motion it detected, and the 22 clips it recorded, only four of them were nothing, five it detected something else entirely, and the rest were the cat. She spends a lot of time at her food bowl. I was happy with its performance here. Then I set it up outside and I got a different result. At high sensitivity, it would go off a lot. Every time it changed its exposure as the sun went down or up, it would detect motion. When it went from normal to night vision, it would detect motion. When it would turn off its lights, it would detect motion. I would get as much as 40 to 50 triggers in one night. It's another sort of nighttime marathon. I set the sensitivity to medium. 
and it would still trigger dozens of times throughout sunset and throughout the night. At medium sensitivity, sometimes it would miss people walking in front of it, making low a setting I didn't even want to consider. So then you set it back to high and set it to ignore the area where the flag is, and the motion detection was better, but still would go off a ton at night. It was hit or miss, even when we took the flag down. You do have the option of low, medium, or high sensitivity, but I couldn't quite dial it in just how I wanted it. Maybe I just needed more time to tweak it. Let's talk about notifications and viewing the recorded clips for a second. When it triggers, it sends you a notification. You click on the notification and it takes you to the live feed. It doesn't take you to the recording it just captured. The live feed is fine, but if your assailant is quick, you may miss them in the live feed. I reached out to Heimvision again and they said that when clicking on the notification, it's supposed to just open the app. So you have to manually click the playback button and find the clip to play. That would be fine too, but there's a delay. Heimvision said it takes a bit of time to process the video that was just recorded. Okay, that's fine too, I guess, as long as I get to see it at some point. But then the clip shows up in the timeline in the future. Like this screenshot here. It's a live image. The phone says it's 904. The feed says it's 904. And the timeline is on 904. I can't scroll the timeline past 904. But my newest recording is at 927. I can't scroll there to watch it. I have to wait until 927. I found this to be somewhat confusing. All of this, minus the motion detection, is corrected though if you sign up for a service. I'm not sure if this is on purpose or not, but I wish it wasn't as confusing when just recording and playing back from an SD card. When you sign up for a service, you can also click on Cloud Event, and you can see individual clips and just click on them to play them. It's so easy! Why can't this be the same when recording to an SD card? A few more things you get with the service plan are the options to speed up playback, which is really nice. Let the people you share the camera with see recordings as well, which is also really nice. And get email notifications when motion is detected. So there are benefits to their plan, but I wish it wasn't as confusing for us poor non-service people. Overall, the camera is really nice. The picture is great and it feels pretty well built. It's just a hit or miss with the detection and the playback is a little bit strange. Other than that, it's a pretty good camera. If you really don't need or care about motion detection and just want a live feed, then I totally recommend it. If you're someone who wants foolproof motion detection that you can rely on, then maybe it'll work for you. It just depends on where you're going to put it and what you're looking for. If you're interested, the description has a link with your name on it. If you have this camera or a similar camera, let me know what settings work best for you. Thanks for watching.